a fan favorite playing Arthur Shelby, who's a character who is incredibly divisive, who does things that appall everybody, and then you have this wonderful vulnerability that makes us all forgive you for your actions. And I wondered how much of Arthur, where's the line between Paul Anderson and Arthur Shelby? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know, but you've really made that character your own. And it's a, it's a, it's quite an, it's quite a creation, um, and I'd love you to talk to everybody a little bit about that. This fucking place is under no management. <laughs> Listen, if Sam Neil can walk, I'll fucking walk. <laughs> but I don't know where the line is drawn between me and um, Arthur. You'll probably hear me flirt from Paul Anderson to uh, Arthur fucking Shelby. I, I, I really do love playing the character and I love the city of Birmingham. Is, um, honestly, small leaf, fucking rifles. I just wish my brother Tommy was here or Killian was here, but. Or, or Joe. John Boy. But uh, the line. Yeah, right now, I don't know who I am, but <laughs> fuck it. Don't ask me no intellectual questions and fucking ask me to explain the different fucking elements of Peaky Blinders. All I know is Stephen Knight has created something that's changed my life, and, um, and I'm uh, certainly grateful to him, and I'm indebted to him for many reasons, for the show, for, 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 for you know, the character, and for... Um, for this place, so uh, I think I'm just gonna have another fucking walk up this way. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking sound. Fucking right. Right, darling. Right, yeah, right. I only want to speak to the ladies. Fuck, no way. There's Linda. Hold on. No one tell Linda what I'm doing up here. Well, that's it. So. Thank you all. Thanks for coming. Dude.